Hey guys. <laughs> so I bought some candle making stuff. Whoa, this lighting. So I've wanted to make candles for a while um, and I finally bit the bullet and bought some stuff to do that. So I thought we would try and figure this out together. <laughs> So I bought soy wax to make soy wax candles. And they also come with the wool wicks or the, what is this? Oh, the cotton wicks. But I actually bought wooden wicks too. Cause I, I think they're cooler, they look cooler. And then I also got these scents. I don't know if you can see it. I got these scents. Everything off Amazon. And my goal today is to make a candle for my friend. I got this little saucer. It's like a Snoopy saucer. Can you see it? It's like a Snoopy saucer bowl type thing, but I'm gonna put a candle in here. Um, and then she can use the bowl after the candle's done. So that is my goal for today. So I know the first thing you have to do is melt. I have this old coffee pitcher thing melt wax in here using kind of like a double boiler method. So I'm gonna do that first. So they said to fill up your vessel to about, ah, ah, to about where you want it. Okay, so I changed to this because I don't think that's big enough. We're gonna put this in our double boiler. So this is my double boiler concoction. And now we just gotta wait for it to melt. I think we just stir it every now and then. And then, yeah, and then we'll see. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm gonna stick the wick in here. I've always wanted one of these. Like the, what's it called? Where you like cut the thing off. Ooh. Like I said, I got wooden wicks. They look like this. Like they're just like thin pieces of wood. And then I think I'm only gonna do one. And it also comes with these things that you put in. So you st stick this in this metal thing like this. You there it goes. Yeah, you stick it in there like this. I should probably cut how tall it's gonna be. Like that. Ta-da! So I'm going to stir up, stir my wax until it gets liquidy. Eventually once this all melts, you have to put a thermometer in it and let it get up to like, well, they said in Celsius, you need to get it up to like 65 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but we gotta get it up there. And then we pour it into our vessel. But before we pour it into our vessel, we have to add scents. So I got these scents here. They look like the most artsy and like luxury, you know? other than the typical like lavender and eucalyptus and stuff. So I got these. Um, we have Swiss Chateau, Japanese Ryokan, Maldives Villa, English Country Inn. I don't know how to read, but they're just like a mixture of scents. So let me open it and see what they smell like. See, aren't they like so luxury looking? This one is the English Country Inn. Notes of hoary stock, hoary stock, violet leaves, jasmine, and vanilla. Ooh, look how pretty. Look how pretty this bottle is. Mmm. Sorry, I'm like scratching down because my camera's not on a high enough tripod and I don't want to switch it out. This is Maldives Villa. 
notes of hyacinth, grapefruit, violet leaves, and sandalwood. Mmm. I like that. I like it. Okay, this one is the Japanese Ryo can. This is notes of lavender, amber, lily of the valley, organic musk, and sandalwood. Mmm. Smells good. I think this one's spilled. And last one is Swiss Chateau. It is notes of raspberry, lily of the valley, rose, and cedar wood. Mm. That smells good. Actually, they all smell good. What do I do? Which one do I do? Okay, so I know my friend likes citrus, citrusy smells. So, mm, I think I'm gonna do Maldives. Maldives Villa. Let's do it. It's melting. So I'm gonna put this in. Oh, my camera slanted. Look. So we are working to melt this right now. Dude, candle making is hard. This is a lot of work. It is past 65 degrees Celsius. So now I can add my scent. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Maldives Villa. So apparently you're only supposed to put in like a couple of drops of this. <gasps> okay, I think that's enough. I think, I think that's enough. Let me just stir it in. Should I put in more? So I heard that one trick or one tip is to microwave your vessel first, like warm it up. So that way it doesn't, I forgot what they called it, but essentially where it, the wax isn't stuck to the vessel. It has like, you know, it's just like a clump of wax in there. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah. So I've microwaved my vessel Ouch. and I'm going to stick this with And then I think I just pour it in. Look. So now I just need to wait for this to dry and then hopefully it comes out okay. I think that's all you're supposed to do. Hopefully. <laughs> So I made another one while I was waiting. <laughs> I covered them in this plastic wrap, so just in case Otto's hair is like flying around in the air, I didn't want it to get into the candle while it was cooling. So this is the candle right now. I think it's gonna take a while to like harden, so I might check back on this in the morning tomorrow, so we'll see. Okay, so it's the next day and it is all hardened. Wow, the only thing is it has this little divot in it. Um, so I did something wrong there. But I will look that up and do better for next time. But not bad, right? All I need to do is just clip this down a little bit. And then I think that's it. I also made, here's my second one while I was waiting. This one turned out terrible, but I don't know why. It has like a bigger thing. So I need to figure out what this is and why it's doing that. But yeah, it's actually pretty therapeutic to make candles. So I get why people like really got obsessed with it during COVID. Um, but here are my two candles. I'm pretty happy for my first time. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good day. Like I had a good day. And if you haven't, please like or subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below if you have any tips on candle making or hiking areas in the Midwest that I should check out. Or just say hi, whatever's your flavor. Um, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever it is. Um, I would appreciate it so much. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.